Hey there, this week we're gonna be talking about how to find out if your photo editing program embeds a color profile. This might sound like jargon to some of you and you're not really sure what I'm talking about, but in last week's video, I talked about how important it is to make sure that you're using an editing program that allows you to embed a color profile. So this week, I'm showing you how to check your photos to see if your photo editing program is allowing you to embed a color profile. Let's get started. So in a couple of my previous videos, I talked about how important it is to make sure that you're using an editing program that allows you to embed a color profile. So that color profile is the information about the colors in your photo that travels around the internet with your photo and make sure that different websites render your colors accurately. So if you've ever uploaded a photo to Etsy and have found the colors to be kind of washed out or really misrepresented, even though they look great on your computer, that's because there's no color profile embedded with your photo. Now you may be using some of these editing programs that don't allow you to embed a color profile and you've gotten lucky so far and it's worked out, but there will come a time when they aren't rendered properly and it could lead to some pretty unhappy customers if they get something that's not quite the color that they thought it was. So it is super, super important when it comes to product photography that a color profile is being embedded with your product photos when you edit them. So I'm going to show you in this next video how to check your photos to see if your editing program is in fact embedding that color profile. Here we go. Hey there, just wanted to talk to you really quick today about how to see if your photo editing program is embedding a color profile in your photos. There is a video on my YouTube channel that talks about why and how to embed a color profile. You can check that out there, but the basic overview is your photo editing programs have to embed a color profile because what that does, that little color profile that travels around the internet with your photo, tells different websites and things like that how to render those photos correctly. Now, if your photo doesn't have a color profile, the colors will often look washed out or desaturated or just really off, especially if you have products that are turquoise or purple or kind of those in-between colors that can be difficult to capture correctly. So it's really important that your photo editing program of choice embeds a color profile. Now, a lot of times people will ask me, does this program or this program or this program do that? And the best way is to actually save a photo with your editing program that you've used and upload it to a website called exifdata.com. I have a couple tabs open up here. Uh, and I've uploaded uh, two different photos that I'm going to show you in just a moment. And when you're in there, you can actually check to see if the profile is there. Now, I had somebody ask me today if iPicky is a good choice for photo editing. So I wanted to verify this because I wasn't sure if it actually did embed a color profile or not. I had a feeling it didn't. So I tested it out. I uploaded a photo and I saved it. That photo is this one right here. Now this is the before photo. This is the photo that I had previously edited in Lightroom and saved on my computer. And then I uploaded it to XF data to verify the color profile information. So if you upload a photo to xfdata.com to check, this is what you're going to see. And if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, this is all the details deep, deep into the metadata, you will see ICC profile. And the profile description is sRGB IEC bunch of numbers. And that is the color profile. That is the internationally recognized color profile that has been embedded in it that it communicates the colors correctly to different websites so you can even see on here it says red matrix green matrix blue matrix etc and then there's a bunch of numbers it just tells websites how to render colors so you need this information embedded in your photo deep and deep into the data you'll never see it but it's there and you need to know that it's there um so that's this photo. Now, this photo, this exact photo with this, all of this data, I opened up in iPicky and saved it. I didn't make any changes to it. I just saved it. Regardless of whether I'd made changes or not, the results would have been the same. So I opened it and I saved it as a new file, same file name, just with iPicky at the end, uh, which you can see right here. And this is same photo. So this was that photo. This is this photo. You can see that there's different information already. Now, if I scroll down, this is the photo that I saved in iPicky, remember? If I scroll down, you will notice that there is absolutely no ICC color profile listed here at all. That tells me that there is no, there is absolutely no color profile embedded. So that valuable information that tells websites how to 
properly convey your colors, which of course in product photography is so important, that data is not here. So that's going to leave the websites to kind of up to their own devices to figure out how to render these colors, which is why there's often so much represent misrepresentation of those colors when you upload to Etsy or Pinterest or Facebook or whatever. If there's not a color profile, it won't know how to express those colors. Uh, and that's it, guys. So you just need to make sure that you are using a program that does embed a color profile. Those programs include Lightroom, Photoshop, Lightroom uh, on your phone, Lightroom Mobile, Snapseed does embed a color profile. Um, Affinity Photo is a desktop program that does a good job. It, it also embeds color profiles. And there could be some other ones out there. So just if you're not sure, try it out, save a photo, upload it into xfdata.com and check for that ICC color profile. And if it's there, you're good to go. And if it's not, you'll have to find a different editing program. That's it, my friends. If you have any questions at all, just drop them below. And that's it, my friends. That is how you check to see if your photos have a color profile embedded. Now, equally as important as editing your product photos is having really great styled photos for your product listings and your social media. I have a really, really fun and goofy quiz that I'm linking in the description below that actually packs some really serious information about how you can style your product photos appropriately, depending on your product and your brand. So that quiz is going to help you figure out exactly the kind of props that you should be using for your product photos. It's a lot of fun. Definitely check it out in the link below. Go ahead and hit subscribe so you make sure you get a notification anytime I release a new video and I'll see you next week.